Hi, I'm Janae DeVica with Cafe Janae, and today I want to show you how to make a delicious gluten-free breakfast cookie. A lot of times people tell me they don't have time to eat healthy because they're just in a rush in the morning and they don't have time to get a healthy breakfast. Well, this is something you can make ahead of time and put in the refrigerator or the freezer, and then when you're in a rush, you just grab it on the way out the door and you've got a healthy, whole grain, nutritious breakfast that you can just grab and go. All right, first we're going to put the wet ingredients into one bowl. We'll start with coconut oil. Coconut oil is one of the healthiest oils that you can choose. It's kind of like butter, it, it melts at 76 degrees. So like butter, if it's warm, it'll melt into a liquid and if it's cold, it'll be solid. So all I've done is just warmed that up in tap water so that it is nice and runny. We're also going to use some raw local honey. We use this instead of sugar because honey is more nutrient dense than sugar and also it's less refined. Then we're going to add some pumpkin. Pumpkin is full of vitamin A, lots of fiber, and other phytonutrients that will get your day off to a good start. Next we're going to add two eggs. I like to use organic free range eggs. Those are the ones that have the highest nutrient value. And we'll add a little bit of vanilla because what cookie is a cookie without vanilla, right? All right, now that we've got all that in there, all we're going to do is just whip that up until it's nice and smooth. All right, now that that's mixed well, we're just gonna set this bowl aside and start with the dry ingredients. Now with the dry ingredients, I've used a pre-packaged gluten-free flour. If you like, you can use your own type of gluten-free flour, like per perhaps rice flour or amaranth flour. And this has a little bit of xanthan gum in there, which helps the cookies to stick together. And that's in the pre-made gluten-free flour, so you can just get that at any grocery store. Then we'll add some organic rolled oats, some nutmeg and cinnamon, allspice and ginger, baking soda and baking powder, and a little bit of natural sea salt. And all we're going to do is just mix those dry ingredients together. The next step is to mix the dry ingredients with the wet ingredients. And you just want to fold this in. You don't want to mix it too much just enough to get all the ingredients coated and nicely mixed together. After you've mixed the wet and dry ingredients together, we're going to add some chopped dates, some chopped pecans, and some unsulfured, unsweetened coconut. Now make sure when you're buying your nuts that they are raw and they have not been roasted and salted. That will make sure that you're getting the highest nutrient value possible. Also make sure your dates are not sweetened. You want those unsweetened and your coconut needs to be unsweetened and unsulfured. The final step is to drop the cookies one spoonful at a time onto a baking sheet that has been layered with parchment paper. This helps it so the cookies don't stick to the sheet and it helps them to cook more evenly. Now after you've dropped all of these onto the baking sheet, you put these in an oven at 350 degrees and you bake them for approximately eight to 10 minutes um, just until they're nice and golden brown. All right, it's been about eight minutes. Now let's see if the cookies are done. Ooh, don't those look yummy. Baked until they're golden brown and delicious. I'm Janae with Cafe Janae, and I hope you enjoyed learning how to make gluten-free breakfast cookies. These are going to be quick, easy, and a great breakfast just to take with you on the go. Mmm, they're so good.